Hello everyone, this is the new release, and I figured I'd walk you through it. So there's a lot in this, a lot more than you might think. This is just how to get started. And how to get started is picking one of these two zones, your, your option as to which you'd prefer, and uh, clicking on it. And this will give you a facility, and you can name your facility whatever you want. Um, that looks like it's vaguely Boston-like. So this is the facility planning system, and over here is the menu. So the first thing you have to do is lay down some floors, and I'm going to go ahead and just lay down two rooms. I accidentally connected them. You can middle click to delete, like so. And uh, if you uh, mouse wheel, you can change what you're putting down. We want some lights. There we go. So this is the wall menu, and the walls don't have any physical effect on the world as of yet. It's, it, they don't actually do anything. I actually wanted the double glass. Oh, there, that'll, that'll do. Uh, the walls don't have any function yet, but they do make your, your game look significantly better. So down here, this is the facility, or the uh, module placement. Uh, now. You can only put modules down on floors. Even outside, you have to put down the concrete or something. So there's a couple of things that we'll need to do. The first is that we'll need to create a method of turning observations into scientific papers. And that's the guy that does it. This is the guy that helps him. And you need some way to mail it out. So there you go. This will take in observations, collate them, pass them onto the desk, then pass them out to the world. But we need some source of observations. Well, what's a good source? How about some biolabs. Biolabs are the very very cheapest and most basic way to get yourself some science. They won't get you anything worth having, but it says nowhere, nowhere to send stuff. Well that's okay. Uh, when you do this assigning pipelines and duties you can click on these guys, pick a science destination, and send it over to the cubicle. The cubicle will call it an annotate and send it out to the scientist. And the scientist will write a paper and send it over to the desk. Uh, to, sorry, to the mail desk. And that's who will mail it out for us. Now these do have a lot of other jobs. You can change jobs like this. So maybe experiment with that and see whether or not you can figure out a way to make your science papers work better. So you can see that we're writing a science paper. He's chugging through all of the observations he's created, and he's going to mail it out. Five bucks, a solid biology paper. Five bucks is obviously not very much. As I said, this is not exactly the best source of science. It's just some random beakers you picked up off out of a middle school, so you can't really blame it for not being very great. And you can see that if we wanted to get more stuff, this costs 50 computation, and this costs 50 materials. Well, we've only got one biology. That's uh, that's quite a ways off. And you can see our biology. I bar we released another biology paper, but our biology didn't increase. You actually only get the best value. So we would have to release a larger, more rigorous biology paper in order to get more biology points. So getting to 50 materials would require you to build a a 50 point paper. Tab brings up and sends away that science tab. WSAD moves around, shift and control move up and down. And you can move through the planet, so don't get too upset about that. Uh, Q and E will rotate whatever you're placing if you decide that you need to rotate it. And space will temporarily pause. Uh, that should be all the controls, I think. Um, right click and hold to move the mouse. Middle wheel to change what you're placing, and middle click to delete whatever you're doing. So mouse wheel, place it with left click and then delete it with middle click, um, and right click to move the camera. Alright, you can download it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot more stuff to it uh, than it looks like here. Just This is a very basic how to, how to get started because you need to understand this concept of chains. Alright, that's it.